So what's your diagnosis, Upton? This is a gastric ulcer, sir. Upton, I've never seen a gastric ulcer lying in bed wearing pyjamas. Oh, uh, no, I mean, this patient, Mr. Goff, is suffering from a gastric ulcer. Quite right. Now, Upton, what treatment do you prescribe? Well, sir, in view of the history, I think we should operate. And how shall we do it, Upton? Where do we make the incision? Uh, about there. Rubbish, Upton. Let's have none of this keyhole surgery. That's where you make the cut. There. Give yourself plenty of room to rum it around inside. <laughs> yes, sir. Have you seen an operation yet? No, sir. Why not? Well, we've only just started surgery. Sir. That's no excuse. I, know, I saw one in a film once. They didn't really show much. Anyway, I didn't really Hmm. You students should be hanging around the theatres like vultures. What's the matter? Scared of the sight of blood? Oh, no, sir. No. Right, then. It's about time you saw some action. I'll be operating on Mr. Goff this afternoon, and I shall expect you to scrub up and assist me with my operating list. Right? Yes, sir. Right, the rest of you come along and watch. Thank you, sir. Thank That's you, sir. all. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Where are your colleagues? Just getting changed, sir. Your hands must be clean enough now, Upton. You've been scrubbing through the regulation four minutes, haven't you? Yes, sir. Right, that'll do. No, 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 no! <laughs> Turn them off with your elbows. If you touch those taps with your hands, you'd have to scrub for another four minutes. sharper than that jam spreader you usually give me. <laughs> Come along, Upton, you'll miss all the fun. <laughs> In God's name, man, are all those fingers yours? <laughs> they look like the underside of a herd of heifers. <laughs> Go and put some more gloves on. Nurse, go and help him. Oh, there you are. Well, come on, come on. You can't learn surgery from the doorpost. Come here. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Collier, sir. Well, Collier, what do you think I'm going to do? I don't know, sir. Well, what do you think? <laughs> Cut his toenails? <laughs> no, sir. Well, what? Uh, make an incision, sir. Excellent. I usually like to start my operations with an incision, easier than punching my way in. <laughs> well, now, where do I make the incision? Uh, Better there, sir. What? I'm not going to split the man open from Dan to Beersheba. He'll fall apart. Right now, think again. Where do I cut? Wearing? 
That's it. Keep your hands off! <laughs> if you stick your grubby little fingers anywhere near this stellar operation again, I'll cut them off. Understand? Yes, sir. Right. Now, that is where I cut. Come on, Upton. Come and stand beside me and watch what I do. <laughs> now, Upton, what am I cutting through? Uh, skin. Skin. Yes? And what do I find? Uh, fat, sir. Fat? Yes. And then what? Uh, the surgeon's worst enemy. Well, uh, uh, Blood, man, blood! There we are. Now we tie off. <laughs> Upton, I have just tied off a bleeding vessel, and there are several things I can do with this bit of catgut. I can burn it, tear it in half, or bite it through with my bare teeth, but generally I like to cut it with scissors. Sir? Well, cut it, man! Cut it! Yes, sir. Come round the other side of me. You'll be more use. Afton, you touched me. Sorry, sir. Sorry? Why the hell do you think you're wearing gloves? To keep my hands clean. No, you wear gloves to keep the operation clean. Even after four minutes scrubbing, your filthy figures are covered with, covered with germs. Says my back. You touched it. I'm now your gloves are unsterile. Sorry, sir. Go and scrub up again. Four minutes. <laughs> Nurse, look after the creature. <laughs> These gloves are too small, sister. I'm not a sister, and they are not your gloves. Those are yours. Oh. oh. Gods, what's the boy up to now? <laughs> Come on, Upton, we've reached the stomach. Good. Great, you're supposed to be mopping up with that swab. Don't wave it around like a Salvation Army banner. <laughs> How am I supposed to operate with everything wallowing in blood? Upton, put your hand on that. Um, what? What's the matter? It's a bit hot, sir. Dravish, I can feel a draught. Come on, man, do as you're told. Put your hand on that. There. There, go on, put your hand on... Afton. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Wearing scrubber. Easy give me that, give me that, give me, give me, give me that, give me that, thing. give me, give me that. Oh, cheer up, it may never happen. It already has. You, uh, did your first operation this morning, didn't you? Yeah. I hear you were a big success. Huh? Well, the lad said you were very funny. You did some fantastic tricks with the gloves. Who told you that? <laughs> well, everybody's talking about it. <laughs> it's not easy to come up with any new rubber glove gags, you know. What did you do? I was pathetic. Oh, and they said you made a terrific exit, too. Now, what was that? I was only sick. Ah. <laughs> but uh, in a very funny way, of course. Oh, yeah, hilarious. <laughs> I was sick again later. That was even worse. I'm sorry you missed it. I should book up now for the next time I'm on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm off to the pictures with Ingrid. Hey, come with us. No, thanks. Who's Ingrid? Oh, yes, well, I found her stranded in the rain this morning, so I uh, picked her up. I bet you did. I gave her a lift. Anyway, she uh, wanted to dry her clothes. We got chatting. One thing led to another, and so I'm taking her to the pictures. Hey, uh, Ingrid, are you ready? Almost. Yeah, she's a very dolly bird. Do this up for me, would don't you? Don't come up here like that in front of him. You don't know what it's doing to him. Control yourself, Michael. Don't worry, I don't want to see human flesh again as long as I live. I can't do this. You have a go. Don't ask me to do anything, I might be sick. Oh, come <laughs> here, for goodness sake. There we are, that's it. Go on, get dressed. Is he all right? Do you want some aspirin? Go and get dressed. Anyway, it's not going to happen again, you know. No? No, because I'm not going into another operation. What? I don't have to. I can be a chemist or something. I don't have to stand there and watch people being... Oh, hell. <laughs> I feel so bloody stupid. Aspirin. Thanks. 
That's enough. Come on, we're going to be late. Now, are you sure you don't want to come with us, Mike? Well. Oh, come on, Mike. Look, it'll take your mind off hospital. When are you going to see? Uh, carry on, doctor. <laughs> come on, Gordon, let's go. Fresh, juicy slices of English beef. <laughs> a bone made extra tasty with lashing. Impossible! Look at these stains. Jam, blood, <laughs> <laughs> residence together starting tomorrow. What do you mean? Well, we live in the hospital and we're on 24-hour call for standby for real live emergency operations. What? You, you, yeah. <laughs> so you better get as much sleep as you can while you got the chance. Cheer you up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, are you all set for surgery, Mike? Now, you're not going to throw up every time you see a few guts, are you? Go on, Mike. <laughs> Settle your nerves. Hey, you should have seen one of the ops they had when I was on. Took three hours to stop the bleeding. <laughs> Aha! Sounds like your first case arriving. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What's that? That's your bleep. They want you. Well, uh, what do we do? Dial nine. <laughs> Hey, I hope it's not another hatchet murder. Uh, hello, it's resident students. Yeah? Right. Hey, they want assistance in Theatre 3, an emergency operation. Look, come on, Mike, I'll toss you for it. No, 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 you go. Feeling a little queasy, Michael? Oh, don't. It's no, not fair. You go, I'll go next time. Are you sure? Mm. OK, right, there's the bleep. Have fun. Dun, 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 dun. 
Well, don't worry, Mike. It's not going to bite you. No. <laughs> Aren't you going to answer it? No, no. It's, it's probably about the same thing. Duncan's gone. They don't need me as well. They better ring up just in case. No, they don't. They don't want me. There, it stopped. I don't have to go. That was a narrow squeak, eh? Well, I think we'll toddle off and leave you to it. Resident student's room. Casualty theatre, yes, I'll tell him. Uh, Mike, it's... Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello. He's busy at the moment. OK. Poor Michael. Oh, don't worry. He'll get his nerve back in a day or two. Come on, let's go back to the bar. Oh, yeah. All right, great, thank you. It's just the sewing up now, and I think Waring can manage with just me. Thank you, sir. Cut. You're pretty handy with that needle, sir. Thank you. If you've got any socks you want, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Concentrate, no time for jokes. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Wearing. Who's in residence with you? Upton, sir. Oh, is he? Nice to see him just once in the operating theatre in the next fortnight. <laughs> it makes him sick, sir. Huh? No, I mean, it really makes him feel ill. Ah. I thought that was because it was his first. No, sir. It's rather worrying. Yes, it is. Upton's a damn good student. Who, Mike? Yes. <laughs> Very promising. Don't you ever tell him I said so? Oh, no, sir. So, uh, surgery upsets him? Yes, sir. Well, we shall have to do something about that, shan't we? Well, what can we do, sir? Well, um, let's you and I have a little talk about that when we've finished. Hmm? Yes, sir. What? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cut. Oh. <laughs> Well, how are things with you, then? Dick, have you seen Duncan? Not for a long time. Why? I can't trace him. I've been here for five hours by myself. I mean, what if there's a call? I'll have to go. Well, that is what you're here for. Mind if I create a sandwich? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't think I'll ever be able to face surgery, Dick. I'm, I'm, I'm just not cut out for it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> cut out. <laughs> surgery? Cut out? <laughs> you don't even realise what you've said. Yes, I do. I said I'm not cut out for surgery, and I'm not. No, you misunderstand. You, may, you made a joke. A play on... Spam or corned beef? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not eating. I haven't eaten any meat for a fortnight. I can't even go past... A, I can't go past a butcher's without feeling wobbly. You must be hungry. It's not so much steak and chops as kidneys and liver and things. Delicious. <laughs> Food of the gods. I mean, if I, I feel so stupid. I mean, if I can't face animals, how can I face people? You're not eating people. Oh. <laughs> For God's sake, pull yourself together and stop moaning. You knew what was involved when you came here. Well, why the hell did you want to be a doctor? I didn't know. I, I thought I'd be all right, didn't I? But I'm not all right. I'm scared of it. It's not it. It's people, isn't it? People, you know? I mean, if you get involved with them, how can you be scared? But I'm not involved. I'm not involved with hospitals or patients or medicine. Now, that's not true, because Duncan told me that Loftus had said that you... What? Well, well, he just said it happens to a lot of people, that's all. So, a lot of people don't become doctors. A lot of people can't. You can. Anyway, you'll have to do the next operation, won't you? There won't be another call tonight, will there? How should I know? <laughs> Resident student's room. Yes, uh, I'll tell him. Emergency in Theatre 3. Dick! Hello? Dick, you go... Sorry, what? Oh, my God. Yes, I I'll tell him. Yes, he'll be there. Well, I'll go next time. Tell them to get Duncan. They've already got him. Oh, well, that's all right, then. No. No, it isn't. What do you mean? It's Duncan. 
What? Apparently he fainted when he was in theatre. Been working too hard, I suppose. Doing all your work as well. Fainted? Oh, well, when he comes round, he can do this operation. No, he can't. When he passed out, he fell on a scalpel he was holding point upwards. Ooh. It went in deeper than they thought. They can't control the bleeding. They're going to have to open him up. When? That's not him in Theatre 3. What can I do? You could go along and help. Yes. Yes, of course. And you better hurry. see you up, and I hope I didn't disturb your sleep. I wasn't asleep, sir. I haven't been... Come asleep. here, I need you. I don't think you'll be able to reach from there, Upton, unless you've got arms like an orangutan. <laughs> Take over for Mr. Crate. Swab for me, would you? <laughs> Patients down here, not on the ceiling. <laughs> Try and stay awake if you can, Upton. I'm not asleep, sir. Hmm. You're not bored, are you? <laughs> no. Well, come on, you're doing well. Apart from the blood loss, there doesn't seem to be much damage. No, sir. Looks quite healthy. Yes. <laughs> not too bad. You all right? Yes, sir. Missed an interesting operation the other day, you know. Beautiful gastric ulcer. Size of a ten-shilling piece. <laughs> really, sir? Shame you had to rush out in the middle of it. Probably something you'd eat and disagreed with you. Yes, sir, I think it probably was. Yes. Yes, I remember the first operation I ever saw. I fainted. Went out like a light. You, sir? Yes. Must have been something I'd eaten. <laughs> Here, Upton, put your hand on that. What? Come on, you're my assistant. Assist me. Put your hand on that. Well, uh... Upton, your friend Waring is in no position to help you out this time. No, sir. Well, shall we just let him bleed to death? No, sir. Well, for God's sake, put your hand on that. Yes, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. And about bloody time, too. <laughs> well, Upson, we didn't do too badly, did we? No, sir. He's going to be all right, isn't he? You have some doubts about my professional competence, Upton? No, sir. Still, we were only just in time. Thank God. You're still thinking of giving it all up. What? Well, how did you... Well, let's get some coffee, shall we? I think we've earned it. Yes, sir. He, he will be all right, won't he, sir? Who? Oh. Uh, Duncan. I, I mean, Waring, sir. Oh, yes. I'm sure Waring's perfectly all right. Yep, I'm fine. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Duncan, we've just been operating on you. Oh, did I pull through, Doctor? Well, who the hell was that on the table, then? James McCoggarty, wounded in a pub brawl. But you told me it was Duncan. Yes, Max, I did. There was never anything wrong with you? Not a lot, no. I've been conned, haven't I? Yes, Michael, you have. We had to make your face up to it somehow. You mean he knew about it all the time, too? You? Yes, Upton. <laughs> Will you join us for a coffee, sir? Yes, Clark. Yes, thank you. <laughs> 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 